this priceless gods was handed down for generations for the what's that smell? <laughs> oh, it's a magic chamber pot. Look. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next morning eventually it comes. And uh you guys all wake up from your various PTSD inspired dreams. Mm-hmm. Bolton kept muttering something about Daniel Boone for some reason during his dreams. It's a little disturbing because he was saying it. It started with like Daniel Boone, Daniel Boone, Daniel Boone. And it just got evil and deeper as it went. Anyway, <laughs> you just was there too huddled on their side of crate watching the doc. And morning comes. Um, you guys continue sitting in the crate. Yeah. Just uh, seeing if anybody then, shows up, anybody comes to the spot. Got to noon. Nobody's been in yet. Oh, bastard people. I'm going to try to sketch our surroundings so I can jump back here. <laughs> Shows the inside of a crate and all those fucking wrappers yeah. and shit everywhere. <laughs> Great fucking sketch. Hmm. No, that's fine. But I can't need... make it. It's a big dick. <laughs> well, that's a great sketch of an inside of a crate. It just doesn't do what you want it to. With then a penis on the floor. <laughs> All right. I suppose I can certainly pra- practice at my painting while sitting here twiddling our thumbs. If you're going to spend two days or just regular painting. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to create a trump. I'm just, mm. just doing some sure. painting. It just shows you guys play smells like fucking paint supplies and shit. Well, I can't, I can't create a trump at the moment, so mm. I can just paint, try and get better at painting. Bummer. So, it's starting to get dark outside again. Mm. Getting hungry. Are you going to use one of the great powers of the universe to go in their food run? No, I, I mean, I don't think they're showing. You know, whatever. But, I mean, it seems yeah, ridiculous we... that they wouldn't check it for 24 hours. So Here, well, we, haven't go. Quite, we haven't been here for 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, maybe we just stick it out then until we're at 24 total hours. Yeah, we'll we'll wait until late night again, and then if they don't come this time. Right. So Doc Volton gets sent after more food. Dr. Stephen Yang then shits in the same pot because he's now fond of it. And eventually, it's four in the morning. You guys are either, either it's time to go to sleep until the morning or... So what's what? the next um, on shape-shifting, Logan? God damn it. Shape-shift wounds away, D4. Can only be done when you do a successful shape-shift. Cast spells. Or you can go for small shape shift second time, same day. No, I'll go for shift wounds away. I'll give you a copy paste of all the info. And ha cha cha. There you go. Thank you. Yep. So, are you guys going to leave at, at like 4 a.m. or do you want to stick around? Might as well stick around. Maybe we need to put something in there. Yeah, maybe. Around 9 a.m., you hear doors opening. Side door, not the main door. Guy comes in. 
whistle while you were what the f god damn it no no oh wait my piece is okay all right fuck the barbie and then you hear door closing more keys locking okay that's one of the artists i take it or something yeah, you're not sure. You're, you don't have really good vision out here. Eventually, after about an hour, you hear the keys, you hear people coming, keys rattling, doors opening. <laughs> Several people come in. Who in the fuck left this mess? God damn it, they started to clean it up and they didn't buy. Who in the fuck's turn was blah, blah, blah. It was, no, it was Frankel's turn. Frankel fucking did. No, it wasn't me, et cetera. Uh, okay. They're pretty sure with Fraggle. <laughs> Fucking Fraggle. Mm -hmm. He's a wily one. Mm -hmm. What's it smell? It smells like shit in here, man. I don't know. God damn it. Somebody light some incense or something. Okay. They light up incense. <laughs> yeah, I'm wandering around doing shit. You've got pretty much the only people you've got is strategically pointed at the top streets covering the thing. Nobody even goes close to that fucker. They're straightening up things, sweeping and cursing a fraggle for a couple hours, and then they get bored and late. Interesting. Yeah. The tapestry that's covering the Loose brick, is there, is there a significance to it? I mean, does it belong to a specific... It shows the mages making the wheat fields grow better through use of magic. Because all mages use that. They love people. That's why they make the wheat grow. <laughs> Okay, so no one in particular. So here, here's my thought now. I'll go them. back. I'll, I'll go back. Um, I'll go buy, like, I'll go out. I'll grab, I'll buy a fucking bracelet. And then I'll, uh -huh. like, wear clothes that look like the dudes. And then I'll, mm -hmm. buy, I'll toss the bracelet in here. And then wander away. Maybe someone's waiting. Maybe they have, do have someone watching. And when yep, they yep. have that person, like, see that they put the bracelet in there, and then mm. maybe they'll come back inside here mm. and get it. Okay. Mm. okay. Uh, do you mm. want a, Do you want to be trumped back in here with your trump card? Yeah. Here's here's. Do do I do you? I have a trump of you, but I don't. But it won't work anymore because you look different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hence, you'll need to give me the trump of you. Right. So, if you hear anybody coming. Yeah, so I suppose that's the thing. When do we, how long do I wait to contact you? Um, like, af just after nightfall. All right. Because I, I have a... It's like gray out, and so that way, you know. I have a nearer perfect picture of me that Rass and Rad painted. Of me uh, in a particular pose on a shaman. Is it an actual? You have to do it. Trump? You have to do it know. one after the other. As you're painting it, you're creating a trump. You can't take a pre-existing painting and make it a trump, unless you have the duplicate trump. And then it's duplicating another trump. It's not duplicating from. So it's something I don't know how to do yet. Uh, the picture he po pulled out looks like it's from the movie Titanic, where the girl got painted, but it's Dr. <laughs> Stephen Yang. It came out really well, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a beautiful Trump, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a very interesting Trump, indeed. Uh -huh. So, Logan, that's what we do. I go to... I go... I Trump over Mark off 50 now. silver. Oh. 50 okay. silver. All right. Oh. For that, you get this exact same kind of clothes the guy was wearing, a plain silver bracelet, 
it mm -hmm. won't completely match yours if they're doing the close inspection, but at, at a distance of more than a couple meters, it's close enough. Okay. okay. You've got those things. And Dan. Wait, did, where did you buy those things, by the way? Guessing MMO. here in this city? Oh, MMO. I see if I can buy them in MMO. If I can't in MMO, then I'll do it in this city. Um, you can get the bracelet in MMO. They'll give that to you. So mark off uh, instead 25 silver for the clothes because they'll charge you for the bracelet as they call you one of the stalwarts. Okay. And then I'll do the rest of shopping here and then I'll wait till like twilight and then during twilight I'll come in. Plant it in the wall and yeah. then fuck off. Okay. Yep. And then you get Trump back into the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Still dress like that? Yep. You're all together again. The bracelet yeah. is in between the two bricks in the wall. It's a bracelet sandwich. It's a brick sandwich, actually. Well, br bracelet sandwich. Yeah. So, there you go. Cut to 4 a.m. Getting hungry, and Dr. Stephen Yang is really wanting to eat so that he can go take a dump in his favorite I checked pocket. to see if the bracelet's gone. No, it is not. Okay. Although, if it was, that would be a kick in the teeth because you can't see the outside. Yeah, I know. At so, this uh, point, Joshua McKay turns into a horrible tentacle monster or something. Let me check his fumble card. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You you open up the thing to go back in, and you see him just sitting there pissing all over the inside of your box. He's just, yeah, da, 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 da. you're like, what is going on? Hey, like, like if you wanted to go to the bathroom, you just had to say something. You didn't have to. Oh, I There's a perfectly good boss over there. <laughs> it's this. It's this body. Just sometimes, <laughs> Obed just got some weird habits. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So now you're without a place to, you know, sit. Unless you guys want to sit and piss, which will be the most depressing evening, <laughs> as you guys sleep and piss for the evening. That'd just be depressing. Would you like to sleep in the piss? No. I'll just go off to the, like, to the dark corner and wait. Okay. You yeah. lurk. He lurks. Do you want to stay there and think about what you did wrong, Obed? <laughs> <laughs> At least they didn't rub your face in it this time, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, right. Cut two. Dawn is coming. Yeah. You see Obed like flexing at you and he's like T -t 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 That's nice. <laughs> Nobody wants this shit, huh? You're not sure what the deal is exactly. Maybe it doesn't matter anymore. Maybe. Maybe it was just a assassin who hadn't gotten the message that they didn't need to be an assassin anymore. So, how long do we want to? Like, I, I, I don't mind chilling for another day and then being done. Yeah, yeah. Let's do another day and then. Right. That that evening of the next fucking day you guys are saying they're lurking outside of the p box nobody bothered to show up or finish cleaning even fucking fraggle that fucking fraggle and it's like twilighty and you hear listen rolls look can you hear that <laughs> oh but farting in the box now He's probably telling you shit. Fucking amazing diarrhea everywhere. That'd be awesome. All right, so. I made it by a quarter. Right. You uh, hear, it sounds like a rock on the outside of the wall being removed. But 
uh, with your making it at a quarter, because Fulton didn't quite hear that. He's just glare, or actually he did at negative 30. He only heard that. What you heard is it sounded like a whole bunch of people sneaking up to the rock as well, wearing armor. So then uh, you hear, and then you see uh, the rock on the inside go, and like there's a hand holding it, and it takes it out, and it's kind of moving around the rock, like you hear, hey, it's trying to put it back in. But the fingers are too big, and so then the rock falls on the floor, and you hear, God damn it. And should we, should we grab it from this side? <laughs> <laughs> like pull him through the wall. <laughs> Just keep pulling his face into the wall. <laughs> Would you like to? <laughs> no. Uh, well, and man. then and you hear, go in here. Here. Give me listen what? rolls to try to make out the uh, voices. What did you say, Doc? Well, I was going to wait for it. If they're talking, we can hear what they're saying. There's a hole in the wall now. I, I fucking... I, I don't hear anything because I don't you, care. You plug up your ears and hum quietly. La, 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 la. <laughs> I made it by half. <laughs> right. You hear... You, uh, you men go to the side door. You men come with me to the front door. Let's get in there and see if there's anybody inside. Yes, sir. Oh, God. We should get out of here. They're Why? coming in. The, the guards are coming in looking for people on the inside. I don't know what the deal is. Well, okay. Uh, do you want to go to MMO land? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere. I, it's oh, going to take you two minutes to get there. You, what? Now, are you going to run around the building as fast as possible? They're coming Maybe. in the side door and the front door. Okay. No, we, there's still, assumedly there's storage rooms and stuff here, so we hide in ah, the storage yeah. room and trump out. You guys go in the back room, quietly close the door, concentrating on Trump. God, stop putting your hand in front of me, Obed, you piece of shit. Concentrating on Trump. And eventually you open it up, and just before they get to search the back room. Oh, hold on a second. Whatnot, I'll be right back. What? Uh you grab, you, <laughs> unfortunately, the guy who was doing the Trump decides, no, nah, no, nah, let's stay here instead. No, he, you guys get out and then you This is forward. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah. Funny you, guys, you should mention the whole are there people in the art museum thing because we were just we were passing doing... by artists. We're artists, <laughs> but we can only do our art at night in a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very highbrow art. You wouldn't understand. It's very <laughs> up there. Shows Obed in the background peeing on the wall. Hey, hey man, haven't you ever heard of the the the, the, the pissy Christ? I mean, oh. It's like we're recreating that here, but here's a fix. No jars. Nice. I like how anything that goes wrong with uh, Obed now gets blamed on Obed. It's perfect. So, yeah, you guys trumped out. You're in MMO land. Not sure what's going on back there. So, I assume they they tortured the guy enough and found out about the... Well, it looks like one of you knows what's going on back there. That's what I kind of figured, but... Annoyingly? Well, yeah. Well, we, so we don't know if the assassin's incarceration is what caused a person not to come to the slot anymore. <laughs> or if the if, death of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Political intrigue, I think. I guess the only lead we have is if we wish to follow it up, is go and visit well, Mistress Constance and see if she's at Ventura Village. We can also check the opposing magical family if we can find them. Yes. Yeah. Well, I would like to point out that the the very, very funny thing, if uh, assuming Corey's still on for tomorrow, is that him, Pete, and Freddie will have the opportunity to continue trying to solve this very same mission tomorrow. Are you still up for tomorrow, Corey? think so, yep. Okay. Well, I got an alternate if you don't, because I'm cautious of you slacking off. 
So, <laughs> blacker. So, uh, right. All right. I go and have a look at a horse. And uh, what can I reduce? Hey, hang on one second. I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. Mm. All right. Let's get rid of assistant plus T10 and reduce minimal. And I'll play, I can drive that tanker. Shows you looking at one of the very few horses and the guy's like, beautiful, isn't it? You're like, no, no, I'm done now. <laughs> Uh, there we go. And where are we? And then. <clears throat> so what are we going to do now? Like, good question. Um. So I suppose yeah. Do we do we want to go to Ventura Village and see if Constance is there? Go we'll talk to the lady. Yeah. And see if she okay. what she knows about it. Sure. No problem. Uh, you guys uh, want to walk or take horses or what? Is there a train there? No. Oh. Is there a coach? I uh, you can get a stagecoach. Yes. Yes, indeed. We hire a stagecoach to take us. Yep. Uh -oh. There's a regular run and stuff if you don't oh, mind uh, going fine. with other people. Right. No problem. You guys are half the stagecoach. There's three other passengers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Let me find out how much your fare is real quick. Stagecoach. No, that's buying the whole stagecoach. Uh so we're per day of transport. So let's see. Uh, it'll take you about uh, 30 silvers each and about three days to get there. There you go. Great. Mark it off. Yeah, they're happy to have you on their stagecoach and stuff. I hope no bandits get us. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry, Mabel. No bandits are going to rob us. The man on top has got a uh, zap gun, he's ready to get them. Uh, that's right, my little old lady. You just uh, sit back and uh, relax. Everything will be fine. So, like, we don't, we're not traveling the whole time at night. Do we make camp or what? I uh, know they're, they have uh, um, hotels and stuff that are included at pretty much because 10 silver pieces per day worth of travel is a good deal of money. Uh, so, uh, all your food and drink and shit like that is included. So um, how many nights, how many days slash nights was there? A uh, total of three to get there. Uh, okay. There are other stagecoaches and such going by and whatnot as you are going there. You, you know, um, yeah, no problem. Three days later, you guys get dropped off. And then it's a, it's a quaint picturesque little town. Um, let me give you some more details about it here. Man. Hey. He really likes Ventura. Um, they've got a, uh, it's a lot of hippie like people who like to, uh, surf here and stuff. Um, little typical small town in tavern it's uh used by people traveling between boo and santa cruz um there's a lot of small time merchant and stuff like that uh farmers show up to drink heavily fight and uh get dragged off to their homes to be at night kidding me what i fumbled telekinesis every night how many different fumble cards would you like <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm at, I've got about six all up, spread over the nights. Uh, you take a D4. You uh, don't. Uh, 
You lose an additional D20 magic points on one of the knights. That could be dangerous. If you take another D4, everybody's at a bonus to beat you, and they do. Then you stand there stunned. And lastly, you drop everything on the floor. Okay. So, yeah, good. Anyway, you guys get there, and the innkeeper's like, so, you guys coming to see the lovely village here, Ventura? You look around, there's a bunch of angry farmers that are interested in getting drunk. You are not, the farmers, when they see you guys, I got to check there. They, they seem to instinctively know we don't want them. We can mess with other people, not them. So, yeah. They're just sitting around angrily drinking, bitching about all the stuff farmers seem to bitch about. How big the village? That. What's that? How oh, that's you? three fucking... Fumbles for me now. <laughs> Yay! Take some damage. Let's see if you explode. Nope. Yeah, you didn't do the 98, 99, and 100 I did in one after the other. He throws away his shit, and... Oh, you never did get a first aid roll in that Mr. I Don't Run anymore. And you take a D4 damage for your insolence. Hey, I, I pulled my leg here. Can you uh, check this out, Doctor? Dr. Stephen Yang. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there you go. That was his big scene. So. <laughs> right. You guys are hanging out in the pub watching farmers get drunk. How big is the village? Uh couple thousand people uh, this is this is uh the only t or actually a couple thousand people most of them live outside of the village because it's a farming community there's probably a few hundred in the village here though oh i'll ask the barman bar woman whoever it is yeah you find one of each who would you like to try uh, hmm. uh, yes i was looking i was wondering do you by chance know where I could find Mistress Constance Barpo. Oh, she was here until about two days ago. Uh, uh, she got some very bad news. Uh, the One of the uh, guard messengers came in on horseback and let her know that uh, something horrible had happened and she needed to come home quick. She took the stage the very day. Of course she did. Where was she staying? Here. Okay. She, Did she you was, watch uh, notice if she... Pardon? she was what? Surfing. We have a large surfing community here. Oh, okay. Shows this angry farmer on a surfboard drunk. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is California, man. This is post apocalypse and shit. They still surf. Of course they do. Yeah. So here. So do you know if she had any uh, gentleman callers? Or or was she? Oh no, she, she had her she had her uh, people and stuff with her, of course. Nothing inappropriate, though. No, I mean, no orgies or anything. She says, remembering what inappropriate is in post uh, cyberpunk post apocalypse. Yeah. You have to really push the envelope. Like pretty much, uh, an incestuous orgy would be about pushing the envelope here. So she she had no visitors either, just uh, just her entourage that she traveled with. That's right. I mean, uh, she visited with locals and such. Here, why is everything all right? Did something else happen? Is everything okay? Did you notice anything unusual about her behavior a few days ago? Probably mm -hmm. four or five days ago, maybe six days ago. Now she was a bit disappointed in some of the surfing. The waves haven't been up quite as much as uh, she wanted, I guess. Is that relevant? No, uh, no, not exactly. Um, do you know if oh. she did she uh, wear any jewelry, uh, like a like a, a bracelet in particular? A she wore. She, she, like she, this? 
Well, she didn't wear any one thing at a time. I mean, she different different small object like oh, bracelet like that. No, no. Um, her her things were much more flashy. I mean, that's fine for a man, but women folk tend to like things a bit more flair. That looks like, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Just check it. Will you be taking a room? Oh, you you're with the stage, all right. Uh, actually, no, you're not with the stage anymore because you got dropped off. The stage is done with you. So, uh, would you like to rent a room? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Might as well since uh, we're here, catch some surf, work on our surf <laughs> skill. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so see Doc Bolton in one of those old timey swimsuits, like with the, the oh my god, one that'd be one <laughs> on a surfboard, on one of those big old surfboards. I, I'm up for that. Can you make that happen? <laughs> I'll, I'll get right on that. Would everybody like to try their surfing skill? Sure. I mean, Why we're not? here. <laughs> Why not? Why <laughs> not? Logan ride surfboard. Uh, or is a totally separate skill. I, I would just call it surfing. Okay. Yeah. So, is there any Asians out here trying to surf? Probably. I Me. kill them. Charlie, don't surf. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I fail. All I'm right, no problem. How's everybody else's surfing doing? I will tell you shortly. Nope. No good. No problem. You, you, you would. Some guy comes out and he helps you dig your board out of uh, somebody else's ass and goes, "Would you like to sign up for surfing lessons?" No, I don't believe I'll have the time. But thank yes. you. Yes, I do. Or skiing. I want to learn how to ski. We don't really do skiing here. We got surfing. You don't have anything that. You know, like goes really fast in the water, and then we can ski behind it. Not yet. There's Did not you? a Magitech boat that is propelled. Uh not not that they have hold of. Slap Logan in the face. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> heard about the bird, 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 bird. Oh, bird came I, I would invent one, but I'm not allowed to. Right. <laughs> thank goodness for that. Yeah, yeah, I guess we had back then because we missed her. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> and where did she get? Like, she just like left, left. Like, I'm out. Peace, bitches. She really headed back to town. Oh, she yeah. went back to town. Oh, the coast is clear, so she went back. No, no, no. So a guard came and told got got her. Said your family's all dead. You need to come back. So she went back. Oh, so she's gonna get murdered while we're out here or something. Yeah, oh, like we're gonna show up and she's gonna be. Stapled to her door or something. No, no, she'll be eaten by a shark. Oh. I like stapled to the door though. That does have a certain kind of majestic presence to it. Um, no problem. I mean, you it, have in there the, by the fact that the fish. fact that she the fact that she surfs and you know surfers get attacked by sharks all the time, and especially great whites, is quite a interesting um, coincidence. I mean, is oh, this yeah. common? Like, you acted like that being sharks was, like, you know, not a big deal. Like, no, yeah, it was sharks. <laughs> like, is that a normal thing? Oh, only, no, only because just Pete be was like, yeah, it's sharks. And I was like, you're right. And so he was he was very, uh, like, wow. No, it, it's uncommon, but, I mean. Yeah, just actually, man, cows, cows kill, toddlers kill more people than sharks do every year. And we mm -hmm. need to stop them. It's we just, just kill it, all children, I think. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Now it's more more to do with the fact of um, just with some of the stuff we've dealt with and seen, and that having a shark appearing in a room and killing people. Mm. Mm. More dead kids. Mm. In the ocean. Mm. So you guys are going back to the city on the yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, uh, Chris, mark off in there 30 pieces of silver, please. Do you have Weird. new money? No. They want more because it's not new money. Here, just shut up and take a gold. 
and then some extra. Please, please uh, allow me to kneel on all fours in front of the thing so you can climb up and use my back instead of the step. Gold, sure, they're, they're into it. Oh, so they'll take my one gold instead of more, okay. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're happy to take your gold piece instead of your 30 silver. Absolutely, they Quit are. Quit trying to kill yourself. Oh, wait, is yeah. it? I thought it was 30 silver each. No, no. Oh, yeah. I thought it was pricey. I was like, what the fuck's going on? No, no, oh. it is pricey now since you gave him a gold, but other than that, you're fine. I, I, I rob total. him. I give him the gold and then I fucking steal it back now. I'm. Oh. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> 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 he just shows him. He's got a straight tied to his finger. He goes, "Yep." <laughs> just jumps, yeah. jumps out. <laughs> the guy goes off. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Where the fuck? Oh my god! I lost it all. There's a hole in my pocket. I'm so fucking stupid. You know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, right, you guys can have a, Yeah, can I have a fumble card for the first night? It's like, and hey, we have checked in here. It's a very oh, a wrong card for luck. It's very quiet, and it's very. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I'm falling down the stairs. Do, 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 do. You fall over. So. All right. Why are you... Do oh, are you, are you wounded, Yang? No. I accidentally... Why? Oh. All right. Why? Why? I, a, I don't know how to clear it when it accidentally... Well, give me a fumble card for night two. Every night, there's a big fucking thump. And this night... They're fire! <laughs> and everybody goes, you know, fucking puts out the fire. He started in his room. He he ends no up smelling. Idea how I managed to create a fire when I was attempting to put webbing between my toes. Oh, webbing between your toes. Got it. He comes out the next day. He's not wearing. He's carrying his shoes, and he has big clown feet that he's wrapped up in like uh, cloth and stuff. And he's like, "Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it." And so everybody else just stares at him the whole time in the carriage, like, "What's wrong with your feet?" And he's like, "No, no, no." And they're staying okay. like that apparently. Good for him. No running for you. So yeah. anyway. Apparently, he got carried away with the webbing. That was one of the uh, fumbles that lets the GM have whatever they strikes them as amusing. So, good deal. Well, at least the ladies will be impressed. You know what they say. Mm -hmm. Big hands and big feet mean big shoes and big gloves. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ooh. So. Right, you guys are back in the city again. Hello, city. Did you miss us? Hmm. You see Doc Fulton making some strange faces at you. Let's head over to the Barpo residence or Bob Barpo. Let's see if she's right. in. Um how you've still got your big fin feet there? Pete. No, I've not managed to. I can only do it once a day, and I've not succeeded. <laughs> He's doing the pump, 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 because you guys are going over there. Um, he's got essentially he's wearing bags on his feet now. He stopped and got some bags and stuff and that he's tied up. But walking is extremely painful for him and not at all fast. Can we put you in a wheelchair or something? Oh. Yeah, if you want. That'd be nicer. And then it just looked like he has new and unique problems. So yeah, you've got him in a wheelchair. Get him a blanket to put over his face. feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's wearing clown shoes in a wheelchair. Just imagine that for a moment. Put picture clown shoes in a wheelchair in your mind. He has issues. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like he, he started this deep one transformation from the fucking feet up. And it stopped at the feet. So, yeah, it's his new character, apparently. Anyway, you guys head over, pushing Granddad in the wheelchair there. And um, uh, how, are you, how are you guys wanting to dress? Pete, keep in mind, putting on normal pants is going to be tricky for you. Yes. They might have some stripper pants with the Velcro and stuff somewhere. I don't kill. know. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fine. <laughs> well, if we're going to worst, we nick over to MM, we nick over to MMO land or Burlington, get some good clothes, and then come back so we're nicely dressed for the neighbourhood. All right, done. And you're wearing a kilt with blankets and stuff on your lap to uh, cover up your kilt and whatnot. And my sparring. And your sparring. <laughs> so my sparring's low exposed. Oh my gosh, Doc Fulton, he's turned Scottish. <laughs> Scottish. Again, I'm, uh, all you need now is a golf club. We can go golfing <laughs> together. Hot oh, damn. Mm, at last, somebody to golf with. Right, <laughs> you go push him over there. And uh, give me, before you get there, give me uh, etiquette rolls at negative 10%. Hmm. What are we missing? I bode well. I don't think it. By a quarter. You don't have a calling card, sir. Yeah, we need calling cards. We need calling well, cards. At least, at least whoever's in charge, if you're playing off like the R2 or your aides or something, because you need them in order to get around being that you're hideously crippled and stuck in a wheelchair. <laughs> Which, you're pulling off the hideously crippled part right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, need a calling card to present to ourselves. All right. How about we? Why don't we be like paint uh, one? We can paint one for you. Oh. There you how go. How to get checks and random shit? <laughs> yeah. Give Maybe. me a painting roll. He spends a little time. Uh, there we go. After it lovely. dries off, you have a lovely calling card. It's even got like if you feel letters, they feel like they're sticking up because they are because it's paint. And yes. no problem. You you call upon her. Um, you give her the calling card, which says on it, uh, Joshua McKay. I won't have ah, shotgun joke about it. Good. And uh, just <laughs> curious. And uh, we should be a uh, magic family, like genealogy. So we could go under the guise of, uh, because of this tragedy, when he wanted to research, make sure she was the only living heir and see if there's any connections to any other prominent magic families, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. He mentions as the maid is gone just for a bit. He comes up with this whole backstory thing and all that. And you guys look at him like, where was this two hours ago? <laughs> I, I was, sorry. It happens. It was right on the tip of my tongue. I would have said it while we were making the card. Uh, I understand. Uh, what is your title, sir? Says the maid coming back to uh, Joshua McKay. The Honorable. Very good. Uh, right this way, sir. Thank you. Hold on. Kill it. Kill it. Send it back to doggy heaven. Make it go live in the country. Make it go live in the country. Uh, uh, no, not the farm. We enter the house. No problem. Uh, yes, uh, they take you to the huge withdrawing room, and uh, you get to sit there. They're, they don't bring you to like the murder suite or anything like that. And uh, eventually, the the uh, lady comes in. She's in her mid twenties. She uh, is a little bit pale. Has a little bit of color from actually no. She's got plenty of color now. She was out surfing for a while. She looks like she is well suntanned, um, and uh, she has the tan of somebody who is not used to getting tans. If that makes sense, I think oh, yeah. it is. I think it is the British person's tan because they're not used to the sun. Um, and yeah, she's got long dark hair, dark eyes. And she comes over and says, "Oh." Mr. Honorable McKay, it's good to see you. She comes over and briefly clasps hands with you. Mm -hmm. Are these your Thanks. assistants or? Yes, yes, my colleagues, Very yes. Uh, how may I help you? Please, please. Uh, she motions to your assistant. Well, actually, no, they're your assistants. She ignores them. And no, she says, my colleagues. Oh, colleagues. colleagues. Please have seats. Would anybody like anything to drink? She indicates her servants. 
it's not just you and her. There's servants around yeah, 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 yeah. and all that shit. Uh, thank you. Yes, that would, would be like kind. Excellent. Everybody give me etiquette rolls to pull off uh, being uh, genteel people in here. You're at full, but you may attempt to drink beer with your feet if you uh, wish. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dr. Fulton fails to do his famous butt bacon trick. Mm. He does like him some butt bacon occasionally. Everybody is. Everybody made their etiquette? No, oh, wait. Oh, there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there. There's Dr. Stephen Yang's etiquette. I Just know somebody's going to blow it. Somebody's going to fuck this up. Come oh, on. He's done a card. I got to discard again. Oh, he's doing cards. Got to go. I thought he was trying to draw out the drama and shit. All right, no. Okay. Tempted to give him a card for drawing out the drama. <laughs> Just keep giving him cards while he's trying to discard down. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Take another card. Stop it, Logan. Stop it. Fuck you. <laughs> so this is the big role. Uh, you're guessing that this oh, might oh. be to help persuade her uh, that you are actually scum. So... No, um, uh, right, this uh, region's etiquette. <laughs> no problem. Uh, he, he gets uh, he gets some brandy in the snafter. He's like, "Come on, come on!" And the guy he was like, "Just keep pouring." <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Don't be shy there, Jeeves. Set him off. <laughs> <laughs> an entire brandy snafter, literally full of brandy. It's got an entire bottle of brandy, and now he's like. Little space at the top. <laughs> and so Jeeves opens a new bottle and tops it up. <laughs> she Where's looks, my straw? She looks rather put out. And then it shows him like watching the R2 swirling there. And she's like looking warningly at him. He didn't fumble though, so he doesn't attempt that. Anyway. Good enough. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Uh, uh, Mr. McKay? Um, oh, first of all, I wanted to... Exp Thank you, she says. Give me... Uh, what is Eric... Empathy. Does anybody have... Uh, actually, let's let's start with... Chris, what's your empathy? 87. Yeah, Roy, 30 or less. What's your... Hmm? Sixty. left. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You'll go hang out. You never fuck up. Now they're trying to make it easy to transition or something. So, uh, right. And Corey, what's your uh, it might have been a little higher than that, Chris, but you still failed. So, uh, Corey, what's your uh, empathy? 60. Roll 10 or less. Jesus. What's your, what's your uh, empathy? Uh, 62 or something. Roll 10 or less. Nope. And eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. She looks like she's been haunted, haunted lately by what horrible things have gone on, but she's bravely bearing up under the tremendous strain. Thank you. That's very kind of hey, you. Logan, is there any chance I can uh, slip some psych stuff in here to try and figure out where she's at psychologically? Not without, without, uh, I'm not saying you'd lean back and steeple your fingers and say, tell me about your mother. But, uh, you know, it'd be a, uh, to any, anybody who uh, uh, has any kind of stuff like that. Uh, plus, uh, wait, no, you failed your etiquette. You don't care how rude you are. So, um, yes, you're thinking no. Okay. Not without, not without uh, tipping your hand. Gotcha. She says, and how may I help you today? 
she fingers the lovely, lovely card, the almost one of a kind calling card. She thinks you might have plenty of these where you can feel the letters and stuff. She's quite <laughs> impressed with it because I don't know anybody who has them individually painted, but <laughs> apparently. He needed to practice. <laughs> oh, with the loss of so many members of a great a family of great magus ability. Um, we wanted to make sure we were wanted to see if there were any other connections, any other individuals who might be linked to the family that of um she, of power that may need to be she brought nods. into the fold. I, I'm not sure I understand. You're a genealogist? Partly. Partly? Well, he we... looks more baffled. We also are, are concerned with the preservation of, uh, of magic society, right? I mean, even though we the society has sort of phased out some point system and and other things, but we still believe in the the uh, culture of it and the uh, the essentialness of uh, of everyone still remembering and being aware of how you know the elite uh, uh, you know magical families uh, you know helped form this society helped you know get us to where we are this is something that we believe is important not only to remember but also for the future evolution as as people seem to forget sometimes of, you know, where they come from and, and, you know. Got it. While you're talking, she gets up from the chair and goes over and straightens a already straight painting, then runs her finger along the top of it, checks the finger, looks at the butler and nods, and the butler was like, you know, he doesn't give any facial expression. Um, and then when you start talking about remembering it, she does one of those, like where she, I can't move my neck that much, but where she's looking back over her shoulder at you guys. Quite a nice back. It's, she's wearing one of those uh, lovely dresses and stuff, and it gives off just the right hint of, wow. But um, right, Chris, roll me a 35 or less. The other two guys, roll me a 10 or less, please. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking she wants to be bent over in the fireplace right now, you two, and just go so on ahead like in front a of them? dog. Like, what is she in front of? Uh, and she is in front of a uh, picture of her family. Hmm. And she is in it as well. It looks like it's been hung in pride of place. And she says, ah, you are Logan. genealogists then and preservationists. Hmm? Is this the room where the murders occurred? No, 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 no. This is the withdrawing room, not the murder room. Okay, I just was this interested. Is kind of, just, just oh no, curious. no! Oh god, no! That'd be a bit too macabre. Um, plus, they're oh, probably still. I, I don't know that. That may also point to things, which is why I asked. No, totally different room. You have never been in this room before, and such. And she says, uh, "I see." Um. And how much would your services be for this? I'm presuming I would get a some sort of family tree out of it. Would of course. Yes. Oh, uh, we, we're not oh. we're not really interested in charging for our services. This is more of a you could consider it like a public service, uh, like a historical preservation society type of thing. I uh, see. We get funding from other sources from benefactors who wish to see this type of thing. It's strictly done through donations and parties and that sort of thing. I'm sure you're familiar with the arrangements. Give me a fast talk roll. Lower is better. She's <laughs> never heard of this before. <laughs> no, never. The bitch. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You're thinking, she. Oh, no, it's crazy. God damn, he can pull out some fucking... <laughs> Dr. Stephen Yang pulls out some bullshit. He just slides a big steaming pile of shit. She looks uncertain, like, 
why haven't I heard of this? And she says, very yeah, well. She feels left out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I she, she, she says, all right, uh, what what do you need from me then, aside from uh, my uh, blessing in this? Well, uh, I'm, we have some questions, um, if you're willing to answer. Uh, uh, it's uh, very difficult on me right now. Perhaps a document or something that the family may have kept along. Uh, just Those I, I can provide, but unfortunately, my I have a lot to do with all the funerals. A um, or also Her something like a letter, a letter of introduction to the family lawyer, so that just say assist us in some of the research. Access yes, of course. The, the research, Bartleby, my lady, please uh, see to their needs. Uh, get them some of the books of the family background and a letter to our solicitor. Thank you. Uh, right there, this way, gentlemen. Says there was Bartleby. another. There was a wait. Well, before we leave uh, your presence, uh, there was another magic family in the area. Uh, I believe the the Loopy family. Did they have close ties with you? Chris, roll a thirty-five or less. You are two. Roll a ten or less. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, I gotta do the whispering and the fucking uh, uh, Facebook for Corey because his shit's broken. So, hold on a second. Booting up Facebook. I keep Facebook closed during the game once it started because stuff. Okay, makes sense. There we go. You other two, you notice her eyes glisten a bit, possibly holding back the tears, the mm -hmm. tears of her dearly departed relatives. And she says, "Yes, yes, uh, uh, um, but you can talk to them about that if you'll, if you'll excuse me. I'm feeling rather tired. So much to do. Of course, of course. Thank, thank you for your." time in this um of course period he sweeps from the room if you've ever seen somebody in a dress do the sweep out thing that's what she's doing um the butler looks at uh dr stephen yang's glass which is mostly full of an entire bottle of brandy and he raises one eyebrow like are you gonna finish that <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> <laughs> he just gives you a look like I can't believe you did that and right you guys are provided with a couple of uh, small books of uh, big family background and uh, uh, whatnot and possibly enough to make some sort of family tree out of if you wanted to um, yeah. as, as soon as I get some time like with them it's not like they Jeeves isn't like hovering over us. Oh well, they, he's escorting you all the way out. So essentially, uh, did we also get the letter? Yes. Of introduction, yes. etc. Yes, you did. Uh, yes, uh, he, uh, he had unfortunately he had to redo the letter because he he had put your last name as Xavier, but then realized his mistake and put it as uh, your proper yes. last name. So yes, yes. Uh -huh. Come outside. I want to know if there's anybody watching the house. All right. Yeah, go ahead and give me um, counter surveillance rolls as you guys. <laughs> oh, no. He's got the <laughs> finger monocle going. No. Uh, as, uh, I'm guessing Dr. Yang then is uh, pushing uh, uh, the wheelchair in order to uh, allow Fulton. <laughs> Fulton blinds himself Fulton, briefly. Fulton, Fulton is pushing the wheelchair and pushes I me out right in front into of the a, sun. Um, or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him pushing you into traffic and then looking around. Oh, like, yes, no! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get hold of <laughs> oh, I'm giving you a card for that. No problem. My uh, doctor, Doctor Stephen Yang, comes and rescues you before you. He just shows your card stop, and then shows like a guy with horses, and he's like, "Get out of the way!" And you're like, "No!" And he's like, "Get out of the way!" And then it shows him from the side, and it's a slow-moving uh, horse uh, drawn out of cart and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Yang pushes you out of the way. <laughs> Come back over here, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> right. Uh, you guys are, uh, um, according to uh, Dr. Fulton, nobody's interested in you at all, which seems to make him sad and mm -hmm. hungry. Right. Okay, guys, uh, so she was an angry biatch. Uh, yeah. When I mentioned the other rival family, she had a real, real cunty look in her eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> cunty look in your eye. <laughs> so, That's uh, a rather cunty look you have in your eye there, my right, dear. Right. So, uh, so we should, uh, should be aware that she's, I think she's got a little more stabby stabby in her than she's she letting on. Yeah. So you think she was doing the whole for pretending to be upset and stuff about it, but she's actually wanting vengeance? I believe, yeah. She probably, yeah. It seems like she might be going that route, the vengeance route. She didn't have a part in it to begin with. Interesting. Right. Yeah, it depends, I suppose it depends on whether or not they were um, involved in it. Yes. I think so. We got some documents to go through, letter of introduction. We got a bunch of shit. Uh huh. Excuse me. Is this a is this a good place to? Yes. Again, or? Yes, absolutely. And then you will be able to continue the, the investigation during tomorrow's exciting episode of. Wait, what? To, give me ideas for names for this session. I can't doctor? use doctor. I can't use McCunty. Doctor, doctor. <laughs> doctor, 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 doctor. I can I can fit two doctors in there probably. And... Yeah, doctor, doctor. <laughs> Give me the news. I got a bad case. <laughs> Any other ideas? Uh, clown feet. <laughs> mm. Chris, give me one. I can't think of anything good stagecoach sidetrack mm, let's see what else did you guys do today aside from this this case uh, buying a house wreck some art pee in a box shit with vase mm. <laughs> <laughs> vase poo yeah all right, so which do we want? Do we want clown feet or doctor, doctor? Chris, you're the tiebreaker. I'd go more with doctor, doctor. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just because it. it came up so often in this one. We're doctor. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All you need is one more person who's a doctor. You can make, uh, if uh, McKay can become a doctor of uh, genealogy <laughs> or something, that would be a big, big help. So, uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, does anybody have anything to say to the exciting studio audience? Fumbles are bad. 